Hi everyone. Today we're going to make some orange flowers on an eight by eight canvas. They work so nicely on that size. So this is Liquitex Basics Red Oxide. And I'm placing where the flowers are going to go off center, as you can see right there. Now we'll lay down our leaves. And I like to use a few colors to make the leaves. So this one to start is sap green. And let's see, that is by Academy Acrylics. I think I got those at Hobby Lobby, that one. This color here is um, Primary Elements by Color Art, and this is olive green. It is such a luscious color. I just love it. It is yummy. Lots and lots of bling. Ooh, in this color, I believe is the buttered toffee, also by Primary Elements Color Art. It's a pigment. If you need to know how to mix your pigments, there is a video that you can see in my list of videos that does pigments. Now this color is really also very yummy. It's a twisted lemon. And again, it's by Color Art, um, Primary Elements. here and a little there those will be very pretty leaves and I'm gonna put a little green right in the middle to kind of define between the two flowers Let's see how that works out that's a new thing now here goes my cell activator, which is with Australian Floetrol. I do mix it up by the teaspoon, and I use three teaspoons of the Floetrol to one teaspoon of the paint, and the paint is Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. And I take my little blower and I blow that cell activator across those leaf paints, paints for the leaves. <clears throat> I'll pull back a little bit towards the end. And that Australian flow club never disappoints. People are afraid to buy because it, it is a little pricey, but man oh man. I only use it as my cell activator. I don't waste it on anything else. And it is lovely. It never disappoints. Now we'll just let those sit and let them collect themselves. Now I'm using Warm Sienna, again by Color Art, Primary Elements. It's very blingy. Love that color. Oh, and we have a little bit of ore is the name of the color. It's a pigment by P TLP. Just a little spot in the center. And the cell activator on top. Did a little 
dribble there across, but not to worry. And we'll take the blower again, and we'll come from up high and try to catch it right down on that bullseye. There we go. Open it up a bit and then scoot it out for petals. Using my spinner as a tool to go around creating that shape. Okay, there's a second one. And whatever flower you you blow out last will be your prominent flower. Lovely. Alright, so they need to sit and collect themselves. So the Australian flow trial has a stretchy consistency to it. So we have to let them sit after we've blown them out. So once we've stretched it out across the paints, it's got to come back together and collect itself. So we can fiddle around with these leaves now that they've sat for a little bit. And you need to clean your skewer after each time you touch so you don't drag it around everywhere else where it shouldn't be. And those skewers are fabulous. They got a fat end and a skinny end. I buy them on Amazon. Using the skinny end to uh, draw in my leaves. So the petals of the flowers will use the fatter end <clears throat> of the skewer. Okay, here we go. And you don't go all the way to the middle. Leave that center where it's just the cells. It'll make it look like the flower seeds of the flower, of the center of the flower. There we go. And when you drag through, and you pick it up straight. You don't let it dribble across straight up so it doesn't dribble. All right, next flower. Making our petals. I'd like to give each petal a little bit of an accent, so I draw it out a little. It's okay if they overlap one another. It just shows that they're close together. lovely. Thank you. 
beautiful. I like it when it goes off the edge, but it gives me some negative space to play with. So we'll make my little accent heart flowers here. So I take a different skewer. It's just a straight skewer. It's got the pointy end and then just a flat end. The flat end is where I dip it in my paint and I touch it onto my base. And we give these little flowers some leafage as well. it in the twisted lemon color. Now I'll dip the pointy end in the paint and I'll drag through. straight down the middle and bring it right into a petal so it looks like it belongs there. It's perfect. And here we go with this one. And one more. Love it. Love it, love it. Perfect for fall. Bye now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, please. Share with your friends, too. If you haven't seen my clothing line, it's really fun. Very colorful. Get lots of compliments. I love the clothing line. Check it out. Thanks again. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. And happy painting.